it's Jackson the Squad, and guess what? This week we've been watching a whole bunch of videos from Hamimation. Yeah! I love Hamimation! They've been so cool. They've been so awesome that we're just gonna react to some today for you guys. But before we start, don't forget to go ahead and hit that subscribe button for us. And you know, go ahead and give him a subscribe too. First video that we're gonna go through is called My Dreams. This is one of my favorites. <laughs> that, that's a mood right there. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, flying through your dreams. I've never gotten to fly in my dreams. It's not fair. Yeah, yeah all I have done is fall in my dreams. Yeah, oh! Oh, you oh! got my window! You Lots gotta pay for close. that. Foolish mortal, you live in a world of my mind's own creation, and now your existence is forfeit. Fall to the earth and perish. Oh! Ah! Thanos snapped him. FBI, open up! Whoa! Oh! Light him up, boys! A bazooka? He's too good at lucid dreaming! You cannot harm me! He's still alive! Ah! Hi. Whoa! I'm Bryson, and today I want to talk about some awesome. of my dreams. For this video, I'm going to draw myself as my own Spider-Man that I created. I call it Spider-Ham. Oh, but Bryson, there's already a Spider-Ham, and he looks like this. Did you, wait, what? Did he just smack anyway, him with his butt? Anyway, the Spider-Man dreams are always really cool. You'll never catch me, bad guy. Webs, go! Ugh. Ah. Uh, that's awkward. <laughs> <laughs> Another time, if I swung too hard, I would get unstuck and I would fall. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> In another one, I couldn't calculate the arcs of my swings properly, meaning as I was swinging, I would hit the ground. Oh! In one of them, as there was a, fellow a swordfish. tall person, I understand. You have to calculate for your height. I had one where my whole family hated me, and I woke up all stressed and sad, so I texted them and told them about the dream and asked if they hated me. But no, nah, it was just a Debatable. He said the real. <laughs> Debatable is relatable. I've had dreams so real where I actually throw punches, and I throw punches in real life, and I hurt my hands. <laughs> oh. I, I hurt myself really bad. Another one, I was at home, and a robber broke into my house. I started running away and screaming, trying to alert my family, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't scream loud enough. <laughs> <laughs> and I could only run super slow, and the oh, bad like, guy was catching oh, up to oh, me. Like and then I woke up out of fear again. In this one, I fell off a cliff and landed on my arm, and I woke up laying on the same Ow. arm that I landed on. So that was really? spooky. Whoa. And thus, the line between dreams and reality becomes blurred. Sorry, I'll stop making awesome quotes. In another <laughs> dream, I went, well, apparently I sleep talk, and my roommate Parker was awake in his bed, and he heard me say, Mmm, delish. So delish. Oh, he must be dreaming about daddy. So <laughs> I guess I was just enjoying a fantastic meal in my sleep. Uh, I also pizza die a lot. Broccoli? Who has pizza and broccoli? When you think about die a lot like pizza and broccoli. When you think about it, oh, sleep nah, is kind of like a oh. free trial what? of death. A taste of the sweet release. That's... A chance for our astral bodies to fly free from these limiting meat suits. And taste of the comfort and bliss that the afterlife offers. But sooner or later, we all must wake up and ponder. What is the afterlife really like? Where do we go guys. when we fall asleep? And where do we go when our time is up? No! What if when we die, we no! wake up and realize it was all just a dream? Oh! But we learned things in that dream. So what do we learn from our dreams within this dream? Anyway, you're welcome for the free existential crisis. That's all from me. Tune in next month for another wacky and silly <laughs> animations oh. video. Bye bye. It was all just a dream. Am I gonna wake up in about five minutes and be like, oh my gosh, I'm not in the squad right now? Ah, I mean maybe. Uh, don't check your inbox. No. <laughs> 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 oh, guys, look! I found another video! And it's perfect for Lottie! Oh, all right! Oh, oh, I love this one! Let's see, let's see. I'm short! <laughs> I'm five foot three currently, and I'm very skinny. I literally look like I'm 12. I am old enough to drive, but I can't get my license till I'm 17 because my mom doesn't want to pay for my car insurance. 
Which means whenever I am driving, <laughs> someone will definitely say, Oh, wow, are you old enough to drive that thing? <laughs> and to that I say, Freaking so race funny. me, scrub, I'll wreck you. <laughs> but of course I don't say that. I just try and hold back the tears as I drive off. Aww. One time, I was getting some fast food, and literally every person working there took turns at the window talking to me about oh. how young I was. They could not believe that I was old enough to drive. I laughed at their comments, but I almost died inside. Hey guys, I've discovered something! Light is short! We gotta submit this to the Guinness Book of World Records! Yeah. <laughs> I wanna talk to the guy to invent the short. <laughs> There's this one kid that can't leave me alone about it. Literally every time he sees me, he says, I'm way younger than you, but I'm still taller than you. Ha! And I really want to say back to him. What do you have to say to him back? I'm going to say to him that they are a poopoo head. Ah, poopoo head. Let's, let's see what he has to say. I am short right now, but guess what? I can grow, but you'll be ugly forever. Oh! Do people see it as an accomplishment? Hey, Jax. What? What's You're up? You're going to be ugly forever. Ah! Ah! At least I'm tall and ugly. Yeah. I'm ugly. Ah! <laughs> I'm older than you. Therefore, I'm better than you. <laughs> oh, wow. You're older than this baby? Well, he's going to grow up to cure cancer while you're sitting in your basement playing video games, yeah, you freaking sorta. millennial. People should measure their worth by their skills and things they've worked for. You're taller than me? Uh, no, Whatever. Uh, I could beat you in a Nerf war, though. Or how about chess? Right. Or trampoline flips? Or math tests? Or rock sculpture? Or funny voices? Or just generally being handsome? Boom! My dad was like 5'7 when he graduated high school, but now he's 6'2. I'm gonna be a 6 footer one day. See? You heard him. No, you're not. No, you're not. Look, I don't know, I'm gonna be a basketball player one day. I mean, you he could do anything, guys. Don't don't trifle his dreams. Look at all those chimkins. Chimkins? <laughs> Look at all those chimkins. Yeah! Ha! Oh! Oh no! Yeah! Oh, <laughs> oh, dude! Yeah. You said there would be rupees in these pots. They're said all there just might filled be. with dust. Hello. <sighs> Whatever. Let's just check the next building. Daddy. You're annoying. All right. Well, what was that about? Oh no! Is that Charlie? <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God! <laughs> oh, it was a crematorium! Guys, I found one that I really, really like. Yeah. It is called I Almost Died Three Times. All right, all right. Let's, oh. Let's, oh that's my that's God. A, quite that's a bit a of time. a lot of times to almost die. Life is good and needs to be cherished. Indeed. Oh. Whoa. You see? I close. almost died how, just now. how much I weigh. We must be grateful <laughs> for the time we <laughs> have because at any moment we could... Oh! Hi there. Ah! Bryson. All these stories actually took place in North Carolina between the ages of, of four and nine. Did. And after that, I never almost died again. We had just recently moved in, and I was laying down on the ground in front oh, of the giant no, cabinet no. that held no. our VHS and DVDs. Oh. It was also on carpeted floor, meaning it was a little bit shaky. Uh, Our solution for this was bolting it into the wall. They were not getting any help from me because I was four. If anything, I was messing everything up. Anyways, <laughs> as I was laying down, I was grabbing the bottom of the shelf and opening and closing it with my feet. <laughs> no, stop! I need tempted fate. No. Hey Bryson, you good? No, oh my that God. didn't happen. I mean, the shelf did fall, but there's a twist. As mom was folding laundry, she had subconsciously placed the baskets around me in such a way that when the cabinet fell, the baskets caught it, saving me. Oh. But I totally thought that I had died. Wow. So this other time, Kyle, who was engaged to my sister at the time, dared me to stand on his hands so he could lift me all the way up because fun. So Kyle, who was like six feet tall, lifted little four foot Bryson up. His uh -huh. arms were fully extended, which added like an extra two feet. So my head was 12 feet in the air. And to a nine year old, that's basically in space. Anyways, oh as God. I'm up there, I lose <laughs> my balance. Uh, yeah. I tried to use the wall to stabilize myself, but I failed instantly. And I fell Ooh. down head first. Oh, I no, no, no. I falling to my death Protect and activated his marine powers to catch oh, me by Kyle. the ankle. Woo! And I kid you not, Kyle, there were six the inches of clearance Whoa! between the floor and my head. Had job, Kyle Kyle. been one second yeah. later, I would have totally yeah. died. Kyle Kyle's later told me that as I was falling, he thought, I can't enter the family like this. <laughs> hey guys, I'm so excited to finally marry Brittany and be part of the family. I love you guys so much. Who's your dead kid? So anyway, I killed Bryson. Oh, oh nice. Ah! Brody, stop. <laughs> this next story is the real reason I made this video. Because it was the most dangerous. I would 100% have died. Cool. Brody. 
Mom and yeah. Dad weren't home. Oh. It was raining outside. What? My what? brother no. Raymond must have been <laughs> bored, so he told me to come with him across the street because... Because... Okay. Anyway, we crossed the street in the road. <laughs> some booty! When all of a sudden, lightning struck me. The sound shattered the air and shook me to the core. I started crying and running back to the house. I ran to the middle of the road when suddenly, my foot planted to the ground and I froze where I was. Right then, a car sped right in front of me. I was shocked, but I unfroze and ran into the safety of the house. I watched through a window as a very scared Brayden walked back to the house. Just then, the car that almost hit me pulled in front of him and the lady driving the car scolded Brayden and yelled at him for my mistake. He that happened to, to me down. once too. This person almost think hit me on the street and it was my turn to walk. And then she yelled at me and said, watch where you're going. I'm like, it's my turn to go. The light is green. You should have beat her up. Yeah, you should have killed her. Yeah, she was kind of in a big car and I'm a small Charlie. So no. <laughs> Why had I stopped? I was running to the house and I hadn't seen the car and I had no intention of stopping. It felt like I had been stopped. And I stayed there for a solid second. And had I continued running in that second, yeah. the car would have totally ah! hit me. Was I stopped by some guardian angel, or was it just luck? Whoa. Several ah! Bryce's ah! were almost harmed Everybody in the making died. of this video. What? Please died. subscribe so he doesn't die from taxes. <laughs> Alright guys, this was about Avatar The Last Airbender. You remember that show from back in the day? Yeah. Oh. It's an Avatar showdown. Oh! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. With this animation, this is gonna look awesome. Don't do this, Brody. Don't challenge oh, me. Brody. It won't end well. I'm sparing you, brother. I'm letting you go in the name of our past friendship. But I warn you, even a single step out of line will result in your permanent end. Do it! Yeah! Uh... No! Whatever, this game sucks anyway. What? You're just mad because you lost. That was Maybe, an awesome but game. at least my house isn't on fire. Did he just say his house on fire? <laughs> what? Aren't you brothers? You live in the same house! Okay, guys, you know how I have the cutest little baby face ever? Uh, no, really. We'll swear it the answer was yes. But anyways, Bryson understands me because he also looks really young, so I want to watch this video. I love this one. Uh, all right, all right. This here bar is for adults only. You gotta be at least 18 years old to be in here. I'm 20 years old, and here's my ID. No way. There ain't no way a small fry like you is 20. <laughs> Get out before I make you. If you don't believe it, then die by my blade. D oh hey. my god, Whoa. okay. I'm the best blade master you'll ever see, Pip Squeak. The West so prepare to die. <laughs> oh! Oh, he's, he has the fastest turn. Where did you go? It's just a cup of water! <laughs> Oh, he gave him Thank you. Oh, thank you. Oh! Tell me I look young now. I'm a big boy now. <laughs> I'm 20 now, and I look like I'm 15. So whenever I tell someone my age, it goes like this. What? No way are you 20. You look and sound way younger. Stop lying. <laughs> oh, good. Smash him on the wall. To nothing, not even thinking. I'm being a late bloomer, but I've been told it'll work out later in life, so knock on wood. Uh oh. Okay. My brain may be smooth and dumb, no, but it's that's a butt brain. An adult, but it's still <laughs> smooth. No. Oh. Yeah, you know, I've got a tiny body and a tiny brain. No silver lining here. This just sucks. Wow, <laughs> <laughs> 
So there I was at a dance with some friends. It was a rare occasion where you could spot a wild bryson outside of his natural habitat. A slow song comes on, and me and my friends awkwardly- <laughs> A slow song comes on, and me and my friends awkwardly ask some girls to dance. Guys, can so we walk like that when we go everywhere? No, so, we cannot. Uh, yeah. What color is your toothbrush? Mine's blue. And she asks, how old are you? I'm 18. This was two years ago, mind you. No, you're not. Yes, I am. No, you're not. So I oh. shuffle us over to my friend. She don't believe him. Travis, tell her I'm 18. She doesn't believe me. Yeah, he's not lying. He really is 18. I thought he was no, not going to have his back on that one. So we just yeah, gonna be like, my the guy is and then 15. never saw each other. <laughs> Two years ago, I was involved in a volunteer humanitarian youth group where we all raised money to travel to India, bring supplies and medical care, and teach Aww. children how to speak English. Yeah. After a long day of teaching, I was sitting on the floor in the dinky hotel we were staying in, in my jammies, after a bucket bath, just thinking about life. Bucket when bath. suddenly an Oof. unfamiliar woman walked through the hallway and looked at Well, when you don't have Hello, showers. Boy. How old oh. are you? Seven? Oh. What? Oh. Even she in- went and to Even here? When she was done, she walked past my room again and said, Goodbye, Seven. Oh. Listen, I feel like the whole just killing joke center. is going a little too far. Anytime someone disagrees with you, you just kill them. It has become repetitive Sora? and definitely unfunny. Please no, consider yeah, cutting it back. Yeah, just shoot them. Since I'm 20 now, <laughs> level 20. Since I'm 20 now, I'm hastily looking forward to turning 21 because then I want to go into a bar and order a beer to see how the bartender and bystanders react. One beer, please. Nice try, squirt, but you ain't old enough. Here's my ID, driver's license, birth certificate, and social security number. Now give me the beer. I'm never actually gonna drink alcohol, yeah. but I just wanna see what'll happen if I try to. Bryson, to why would you buy a beer yeah. if you're not even gonna drink it? That's a waste of money. It's not about the money. Ah. It's about the Son, there ain't no way you're old enough to drink. Are you Officer, serious? Please, look at my ID. Too bad, because we don't double check. <laughs> oh my god! Ah! I'm gonna try one little itty bitty sip of the beer I worked so hard to get. Oh, silly juice. Ew. Ew. Yeah, yeah, that's how it feels. Speaking of young things, let's talk about nostalgia stuff. He has a video called My Childhood Obsessions. I'm Bryson, and today I want to tell you about all the hey, things Bryson. I was obsessed with when I was a kid. All right. Oh. Oh, dang, sorry. He throws the back harder than you do. I loved Thomas so much that my parents even took me to meet Thomas in real life. See? There he is. Aww. Not creepy at all. One time when I was like three, I was making a crash scene with my trains, and I accidentally crashed them a bit too hard, and Thomas got a little bit of his paint chipped off. He was no longer perfect. Just so what did it, right? I do? I flushed him down the toilet, of course. But no. Yeah, that's the logical <laughs> sense. You flush goldfish down the toilet. A while later, oh. my parents realized that the toilet was clogged. My parents called a plumber, and after hours of trying, the plumber angrily said, Ugh, there's nothing I can do. So they let the plumber smash the toilet open to see what had clogged it. It was a big wad of toilet paper, and at the center was my Thomas train. Maybe you should get him a toy that he can't flush. Also, do you think we should spank him? Yes. yes. <laughs> ah! Oh my gosh, before he talks about his childhood obsession, my childhood obsession was Sailor Moon! What is that? Why are you still hey, Sailor Dork? Hey, hey, what? Ah, I am Sailor Charlie! Mm. Cool video. Harry Potter, woo! I've loved this stuff since I was oh, a kid. Woo. Me and my friends used to run around the playground holding sticks and pretending to be wizards. One time on the trampoline, Josh got gum in my hair and I oh. never forgave him for that. A vada cadaver! <laughs> oh shit, I think it's real. Mr. Bryson, Ooh. please step forward. All right, which house do you think he's gonna go to, guys? There's houses? What is this? It's Harry Potter, come on! I've never seen <laughs> You're embarrassing us, right, Sora! I choose the red house. You think he's gonna be Gryffindor? That's so basic. I, oh, All right. Yeah. I'm pretty sure thing. he's gonna be in Hufflepuff like me! Oh, I know just what to do with come you. Come on, Hufflepuff. Hufflepuff! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Why are you crying? <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was pretty upset when I took the online test Why? and figured out that I really am a Hufflepuff, awesome. aka a disappointment. Ooh. I was also yeah. sad when I turned 11 Man. and didn't receive a Hogwarts acceptance letter. You're going to normal school? 
<laughs> no, it's a hard pill that you just gotta swallow. Wait, wait. The reality shifting community is still struggling what? with that one. Yeah, Hogwarts isn't real, like, I'm sorry. What do you mean it's not real? Ah! Next obsession, animals. I used to love catching frogs and then racing them against each other. I used to put frogs in anthills. <laughs> <laughs> my discovery of YouTube was just me watching videos of hamsters for hours on end and just, begging my parents just, just to let hamsters? me get one. hamsters? And eventually they finally caved and got me one. The Dang. day I got him, me and my family were watching the Bee Movie. So hey. I named my oh, hamster oh. Barry. Short for Barry B. Barry. Benson, of course. But yeah. then I decided oh, to introduce Barry to my dog, Duke. Duke slowly sat down, oh. gave him a sniff, and very gingerly murdered Barry right oh. in front of me. <laughs> And that's why I don't watch the Bee Movie anymore. Rest in peace, oh. Barry. Meet my new son. His name is Bo, and he's a dog. One time, I had to go to the store, so I left Bo home in his crate. Instead of accepting his fate like usual, he spent all his energy trying to get out of the crate by biting it from the inside. And in doing so, he broke one of his bottom teeth. Bo was no longer perfect. So what did I do? I flushed him down the toilet, of course. What the no! Flushed him down the toilet? <laughs> No, Ew. but he's very handsome, and I get compliments on him all the time. Hey, that's a good-looking dog. Sick him! <laughs> yeah. That was a joke. I have a confession. All of these obsessions have persisted into adulthood. Oh, ah, yeah. you're a stupid baby! Yeah. Oh. Wait, what? You've become so predictable, Bryson. Oh now it's God. my turn. He's fighting. He's fighting on him! Alright, don't forget to go check out all his videos because there's so much more from him. And don't forget to check out our videos too and subscribe. Let us know what your favorite reaction was here.